Hello, my name is Johnny Wonka, and today I'm going to pose a question. Could Vigo the Carpathian return in the next Ghostbusters film? For those who don't know who Vigo is, here's a quick catch up. I, Vigo, the scourge of Campathia, the sorrow of Mondavia, command you. Ah, command me, Lord. On a mountain of skulls, in a castle of pain, I sat on a throne of blood. What was will be, what is will be no more. Now is the season of evil. Evil? Find me a child that I might live again. Yes, a child. <laughs> a child? A child. <laughs> and have been living on a rock li recently. Number one. Why? Number two. Back in 2021, Ghostbusters Afterlife came out, the third installment in the Ghostbusters trilogy. Not counting the, the other one, because that one's non-canon. The success of Afterlife had led to us getting Ghostbusters 4. As for what we know so far, is that the film has been dubbed the name Firehouse, and is being written by Jason Reitman, the son of Ivan Reitman. Rest in peace. From what we can assume from the name alone, is that this is probably going to be taking place back in New York. But as of recording this, there hasn't been any confirmation that there's that there's any filming in New York, but it has been confirmed that they started filming in the UK. We also know that some of the cast members from the previous film, Afterlife, are going to be turning up in this one, and some of the classic characters as well. So, could Vigo the Carpathian return? You might be asking, what compelled me to make this video, and why do I think this? Well, back in 2021, when Ghostbusters Afterlife was going to come out, two certain interviews personally stuck out to me that made me consider this for a long while. The first interview with Jason Reitman was an interview with Rocks Up. He had this to say about Ghostbusters 2 still being canon. I quote, No, Ghostbusters 2 is definitely canon. There are some references to Ghostbusters 2 in Afterlife. We meet Ray working at Ray's Occult, the toaster from Ghostbusters 2 is in the kitchen in the farmhouse. There's actually lots of lost Ghostbusters 2 details, but nobody knows Ghostbusters 2 outside of Vigo the Carpathian and the Ghostbusters 2 logo. So there's this assumption that it's not canon, but it definitely is. In the second interview with Happy Sad Confused Podcast, Redman had this to say, There's a lot of time and opportunity for Vigo the Carpathian to make his return. Look, are you saying that's the only painting of Ego the Carpathian? Maybe he's riding a horse in another one. Maybe he's impaling someone in another one. What makes these two interviews really important is that they bring up how, yes, Ghostbusters 2 is still canon, and those events did still happen. But the second thing is really important. He said, why couldn't there be more paintings of Ego? As stated in the movie, and Tobin Spear Guide, he was a dictator. He was someone people feared. He was a ruler, so why should there only be one? Why not more? Heck, why wouldn't there be a painting in... Oh, I don't know. London? Oh yeah, did you know that Paris and London are said to have two of the most famous art museums? Hmm? Also, look into extended media, like Ghostbusters the video game. He was an interactable object in there. Also, within the IDW comics, he has returned in those as well. So, could Vigo the Carpathian return for Ghostbusters 4? Well, it could make sense, thinking of a structure, of course. It's interesting because it's like Ghostbusters 1 and 3 had Gozer as the main villain. So, why couldn't Ghostbusters 2 and 4 have Vigo as the main villain? It would make for an interesting dynamic. We still have some time until Ghostbusters 4 is released. So it's nice to speculate for the time being. And hey, I know it could be a new villain altogether, but why not bring back Vigo? Maybe in this one he could get a little bit more love. Well, I'm Johnny Wonka, that's all I have to say, and have a good night.